Hello guys and girls and welcome back to another 7 days to die guide. Alpha 16 finally came out and with it came a long weighted electricity system. So in this video we will go over some of the basics of this new system and how to use it to increase your chance of survival. So let's get right in. Now before you can use all these new components in the room, first you need to start generating electricity. There are three ways of generating electricity, through the generator bank, solar bank and battery bank. Generator and battery bank can be crafted at workbench and it requires you to learn generator and battery bank perk. Battery bank perk can only be learned from the schematics. Solar bank on the other hand can't be crafted at all, it can only be found as a rare loot or bought from the trader. Inside the generator bank you will notice that it requires at least one small engine to operate, expandable up to 6. This bank generates most power but it requires fuel to work, so it will need a gas refill every now and then. Maximum power output generator bank gives depends on the amount of engines inside and their quality. Below the max output you will see power, that indicates how much power is being used at the moment. Solar bank operates similar to generator bank and it requires solar cells to function. Though solar sense as the bank itself can be crafted, it can only be looted or bought from the trader. It does not require any fuel to work, but it requires daylight to operate and it doesn't generate a lot of power. In order to place solar bank indoors like you see here, you need to break one block directly above the bank so it has access to the sun. Now the battery bank in general is one big power storage. The bank itself doesn't generate power but it's externally powered through other banks to recharge the batteries inside it. To operate it requires you to put at least one lead car battery inside, expandable up to 6. While using the bank to power your components, batteries inside will slowly deplete. So in time if you want to use it, you will need to replace the batteries you have or simply recharge them. It provides more power than solar bank but it also depends on the amount of batteries inside and their quality. If there are no batteries inside it acts as relay pushing power down the line. All of these banks can be used at different scenarios. For example, if you don't have access to daylight, use the generator bank to power your electrical components while recharging battery bank. If you don't have any gas, take advantage of daylight and use the solar bank while recharging battery bank. And if you don't have daylight or gas, use the battery bank, it's sort of a power for last resort. In order to connect one of the banks to the battery bank or any other component really, you need to use a wire tool. Wire tool can be made in workbench but it requires you to learn electricity basics perk to do so. When equipped, use the right click on any of the bank to attach a wire to it, left click to cancel. Attaching one end of the wire to the bank and other end to the battery bank or any other component will connect them. While the wire tool is in the hand, you will see electricity flow on all the wires. In order to power a simple light for example, connect the bank directly to the light source and turn on the bank. Light will turn on and it will start to consume some power. You can also connect multiple light sources simultaneously if you have the necessary power output. You can see how much power particular light source or any other component uses, simply hold the wiring tool and look at that component. And to see how much all the components connected to that bank use, look at the power indicator in the bank. If you don't want to constantly give power to the light, you can connect switch between the light and the bank. That way you can turn on the light on and off with the flip of a switch. And the switch can be crafted inside the workbench and requires you to learn switches and triggers perk. If you're connecting a bank with a light source that is too far, you can actually use electric wire relay which will allow you to extend your electrical network further, but it does cost small amount of power. It can also help you to organize all those cables running around. Now maybe you want to automate some of the lights to turn on whenever it's about to be dark. You can use the timer on electric timer relay to regulate when the electricity will be on or off. You can craft electric timer relay in workbench after you learn the switches and triggers level 2 perk. And if you're a natural born tactician, connecting some of the components in the right order can result in something like this. But I will explain all of this in a different guide. Alright guys, that is it for this guide. 
This new electricity system can result in some crazy combinations. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would appreciate if you liked the video. Consider subscribing for more content like this. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.